Hey Derek, making this video for you. So here we are in the Teleplay app. So when you open up the Teleplay app for the very first time, you're going to see something like this. Uh, make sure to click on the Pick Pulse button up top, and then you can just do Not For Now. Okay, now once you see this, you see yourself in the camera, all you have to do is go to the gear icon, make sure that the Pick Pulse button is on, which it is because that green, that green is highlighted. And then in the email field, enter the email address used to purchase PicPulse because that unlocks all the paid content. So literally all you have to do is um, select the PicPulse button in the beginning and then go to the gear icon, make sure that just to make sure, make sure the PicPulse button is on. And then the email field, enter your email and then ignore all the other buttons. So to summarize, all you literally have to do, once you see this, go to the gear icon, make sure the PicPulse button is on and in the email field, enter your email. Now we're off to the races. So click on your background from photo library. Okay. So then it's just a matter of adding whatever effects you want. So the way I see PicPulse, it's kind of like the world's coolest animated sticker board with the most high quality stickers. So for example, so what if we go to celebration? Um, maybe you want the confetti effect. You'll notice the trash can icon is there, is already there, which means I downloaded it previously. Okay, so maybe something like this. To remove any foreground layer, just hold and click on that trash can icon that you see. Okay, so let's have maybe this confetti effect. Let's say maybe we have one of these really cool fireworks effects. Okay, so look, now you have two effects at the same, okay, you can also do this to remove it. Okay, so look, now you have two effects at the same time. You have the fireworks and, and the confetti. But what if, notice how the confetti is above the fireworks in terms of the, of the layering. So if we go here in this button right here, we can adjust how it's layered by just simply doing that. And now you'll notice that the that the confetti should be Okay, wait for the fireworks to go. Now notice how it's kind of hard to see because the, um, okay, let's try it again. Okay, now it should work. Bottom line, when there are multiple layers, just use this button right here to reorganize them to your liking. <laughs> okay. Now, another cool feature, um, so let's say you want, um, let's say you want custom animated cinematic text. So if you click on this button, notice how there's about, um, there's going to be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different text options. So if you click on one of them, it'll download it. So now when you click on it, you can say something like open. Coffee, what is it? Okay. So see, now we have open right here. Now let's reorganize it a little better. And you know what you know what I'm going where I'm going with this. Then you can say something like open house. Okay. Okay. Let's say you want to add some music to your video. So I'm gonna show you how to make a video with this pretty soon, but Oh, coffee, stop it. Sorry, oh, coffee, stop it. We have two cats, so I'm like a cat wrangler at the same time as I'm doing this. There's coffee. He's chasing Larry. Anyways, so let's say you want to have music in your video. You just go here. Let's say you like, so the, pl the, sorry, the play buttons um, allow you to preview different music. I'm pretty sure the, the volume is off in this iPad, but let me try to increase the volume. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the play buttons allow you to preview different music. And now let's see you like this. So just download it, double tap. Double tap so that that bar is full. And then in this button right here, make sure that only, sorry, make sure that only the effect sound is on.
Okay. Okay, so now let's make a quick video and I'll show you a couple other cool things. So hold the red button for two seconds. Don't tap, hold it. And now see that timer? That's how long your video will be. Let's maybe make a quick video. Now it's gonna process. Wait for it to process. Coffee, no. Coffee, no. So the processing time really depends on um, how many foreground layers you're using, how long the video is. Um, in this case, we used kind of two very, kind of use a lot of different effects. So it took a little bit of time, even for a pretty short scene. So it should be in your photo gallery. It went from this to this. Now, and this volume isn't, okay, see? <clears throat> so some other cool things I want to show you. Um, give me a sec. Okay, so delete foreground effect. Just hold, click on trash can icon. Guys, stop it. Hold, click on trash can icon. I'm just deleting all the effects. Hold, click on trash can. Hold, click on trash can. The touch sensitivity on this iPad is not that great. Okay, hold, click on trash can, hold. S stop it, Larry, what are you doing? Okay, let me show you a couple other cool things. So this right here, this button allows you to do custom animated, custom uh, magic ink. And this feature is not available in any software in the world. Stop it! Okay, so click on here. You can choose the color. Larry, stop it. <clears throat> okay, so the duration here basically choose is how fast the magic ink will be. Okay, so let's do this. Now we can do something like this, okay. Okay, you get the idea. I'm not gonna do the best drawing, but you get the idea. And this is actually the first time in the world where the very first software in the world where you can do something like this. If you want to stop it, stop it. If you wanted to do this any other place, stop it. You'd have to do it in um, Adobe After Effects and it would take like an hour to do something like this. Okay, to delete this, just hold, click on the trash can icon. Um, some, an, another, some other things I want to point out. Make sure to delete foreground effects you know you're not going to use by doing that. Otherwise, like each effect can be like up to 200 megabytes. And if you have 20 effects, it's already four gigabytes. And that can really slow down your iPad. And the, not to mention, stop it. Okay. Okay. So you get the idea. So let me show you some other effects which can be useful particularly particularly for real estate. So definitely check out the celebrations category. Okay. Um, the celebrations category, you'll notice that some of the, the, the earlier fireworks, I have to delete them. Just check out the fireworks closer to the bottom of this category. Um, you may like the reveal category, something like this, for example. So you get the idea. So definitely check out the reveal category, sparkle and particle effects. It can work for pretty much anything like this one. Okay. Uh, birds, you can add birds flying around, animals going around. Nature, what if we had like a rainbow? Maybe it won't work here because of the perspective of the photo, but let's see. 
Okay, that can kind of work. Okay, you get the idea. You can also use this in the search bar once you're familiar with the effects. Um, something else I wanted to show you. If you go to home, you can do this one, open house. And then you can combine it with another effect, like confetti. Okay. Ah, clicked the wrong one. Stop it. Stop it. Ah, stop it. What are you doing? Stop it. What are you doing? Coffee, enough of this. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so what I actually wanted was, um, the confetti effect. Okay, so look, now we have these two effects right here. We have open house, and then we have the confetti effect, which I really like. Okay, check this out. And what you see in real time it's going to be a little bit different from when you actually make the recording by holding the red button. Um, the actual recorded video, the effects will move a little bit faster. Okay. And more smoothly. Okay. Moving forward. Larry, come here. Okay. So I want to quickly show you what PicPulseAI.com does. So, and how to use it. So, it works similar to what I just showed you. So, if you go to pick, here. Okay, so here we are at pickpulsei.com. Just make an account. Here, let me sign out. So just make an account at the sign up right here. Then you can log in. Okay. Okay, now click this this button right. Okay, it's a little bit blurry. I'll try to make this work. Okay. Okay. So this button right here, you can upload assets from backgrounds from within PicPulse. So like this. And anytime you download a background from PicPals, it replaces the one before it. And then you can do photos in this section as well. Now, this button right here, you can upload your own backgrounds. So that's what this button does. Okay, and then here is where you add all the effects. So for example, reveal. This works a little differently where to remove an effect. You just have to double tap and then it's removed. And then if you have more than one effect, okay, let's say you have more than one effect, right? You have this one and this one and the cards. So see, you have the cards and the door. Here, you can reorder the layers by clicking this button right here. Double tap, double tap. This button, you can upload your own PNG files and this button, you can upload a background, I mean a picture, it removes the background and saves it as a foreground layer. And like any other foreground layer, you just double tap to delete. Oh, that's it. Sorry, I have to take care of these cats. Um, I'm here if there are any questions.